Scorching heat and ice-covered craters, Mercury is a planet of contrasts. As the smallest of the current eight official planets, it orbits the Sun in the closest orbit. And even though Mercury is so close to the Sun, researchers have found signs of water ice. Find out how it got there and what mysterious processes are thought to be going on inside Mercury in this video. But before we introduce you to this unique planet and the fascinating images from NASA's Messenger mission, we'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell, and give us a like if you enjoyed the video. We'll begin with a short overview of Mercury and the Messenger mission. Mercury and Messenger Previously, researchers assumed Mercury was a comparatively barren and dead celestial body. Similar to our Moon, it was thought to be not much more than rocks, dust, and dryness. But then, first measurement results from telescopes gave completely different impressions. There were even growing indications that organic substances and even water could exist on Mercury. In 2004, NASA's Messenger spacecraft was launched to determine, among other things, whether there really is water on Mercury and how the planet's interior is structured. Messenger stands for Mercury Surface, Space Environment, Geochemistry, and Ranging. For the Romans, the god Mercury was something like a messenger of the other gods in his divine position. When Messenger entered its orbit around Mercury on March 18, 2011, after nearly seven years of flight, researchers around the world were eager to see what messages Mercury and its first dedicated probe would have in store for Earthlings. In the 1970s, Mariner 10 was the first NASA probe to fly by Mercury. Messenger, however, was the first probe to orbit Mercury. The mission lasted four years, and during this time, Messenger was able to revolutionize the scientific view of Mercury. Some things we already knew from intensive observations of Mercury with telescopes. But no observation from afar can match what probes can measure and observe up close to the planets. First Impressions of Mercury Mercury has only a very thin atmosphere, so it can barely hold temperatures and gases. It's almost defenseless against the interplay of brightness and darkness and the influences of the sun. While Mercury's day side is more than 750 degrees Fahrenheit, temperatures drop to an icy minus 290 degrees at night. Messenger not only had very good cameras on board, but also highly sensitive measuring instruments and excellent spectrometers. Thanks to these technologies, researchers were able to gain unique, new impressions. Soon, Messenger was able to confirm that Mercury not only has an iron core similar to our Earth, but that this iron core must also be active in some way. Mercury is therefore not a dead, cooled down rock world. In its interior, there are very probably transformation processes in progress, and the surface shows indications of volcanism. At present, these volcanoes appear to be extinct. Researchers also think it's possible, based on current observations, that Mercury is churning liquid portions in its interior. Clues to this are provided by interesting impressions on the planet's surface and the incredible size of its liquid core. In Mercury, the core makes up a full 85% of the total volume. Beneath a relatively thin solid crust, there is a separating layer containing iron sulfide, followed by a voluminous liquid middle layer, and a very large solid core. Why Mercury has such massive amounts of liquid rock in its interior? compared to its small size, is still a mystery. Presumably, these peculiarities have to do with the extremes to which Mercury, as the closest planet to the Sun, is exposed. Mercury's Peculiar Gravitational Field Thanks to Messenger, a map of Mercury's unique gravitational field has been created for the first time. Mercury's magnetic field is only about 1% compared to Earth's, and is shifted out from the planet's central axis. The magnetic North Pole is thus about 20 degrees from the geographic North Pole. As a result of this shift, the magnetic field is strongly asymmetric and 3.5 times stronger in the North than in the South. The South of Mercury is also much more strongly affected by plasma currents from the Sun. 
Mercury's extreme proximity to the Sun and the curvature of space-time due to the Sun's mass create strong irregularities and a strange additional rotation. Another peculiarity of Mercury is that it rotates exactly three times on its own axis during two orbits around the Sun. If you were on the surface of the planet, you could observe that the Sun rises to a certain point in the sky and then sets backwards along exactly this orbit. Due to the irregularities in Mercury's orbit, the Sun may even rise a second time on a Mercury day. So this would offer a pretty crazy spectacle for us Earthlings. Volcanism on Mercury? At first glance, Mercury's cratered surface resembles Earth's moon, and for a long time, researchers thought Mercury's surface structure was formed by impacts from comets or asteroids. But Messenger's data revealed something else. The craters on Mercury's surface are by no means exclusively the residues of impacts, but are the result of a hitherto unexplained and probably unique geological activity in the solar system. The measurement data of Messenger could confirm that a large part of Mercury's surface surface was formed by volcanism in the past. However, there seem to be no active volcanoes on Mercury's surface today. Instead, there are strange craters that were most likely formed by uplifting and lowering of the thin crust, as well as minimal ejections of material from Mercury's interior. The strange depressions indicating these peculiar geological activities are unlike anything geologists have ever seen in the solar system. Whether this is related to a previously unknown type of subsurface volcanism cannot yet be confirmed. The researchers found evidence of large areas that were once flooded with molten lava, similar to that on Earth. Because Mercury shows such a vast, liquid interior, and in an apparently active surface of some sort, researchers suspect large magma reservoirs in the upper liquid layers of the planet's Mercury. Is the Calaris Basin possibly a volcano? Researchers long assumed that one of the most prominent depressions on Mercury was the impact basin of an asteroid-sized body. The basin, about 900 miles in size, probably formed about 3.9 billion years ago since Messenger could detect a 1.5 to 2 mile thick lava layer inside the Calaris Basin. Volcanic openings probably formed after the impact. In this color-enhanced image taken with a spectrometer, the lava layers are shown in orange. Thus, the Calaris Basin on Mercury is most likely a unique mixture of an impact crater and an extinct volcano. Water ice on Mercury It seems paradoxical that there is water ice on the planet that should be the hottest due to its proximity to the Sun. But on the one hand, Mercury is not the hottest planet in the star system. This title goes to the neighboring Venus. And on the other hand, Mercury has regions at its poles that lie in the permanent shadow of the Sun due to the displacement and rotation of the planet. Exactly there, Messenger could confirm what researchers already suspected since 1991, the occurrence of water ice. How the water came to Mercury is still unclear. The most common theory so far says that water and ice are distributed in the solar system by comets. After a collision, the ice of the comet is transmitted to the planet. Nevertheless, this is far from explaining all occurrences of water on planets. In experiments, scientists were able to simulate that water molecules can also be formed by a combination of solar wind and the surface heat of Mercury's dayside. Chemical reactions within the regolith rock lead to the formation of water molecules, which then rise as vapor. Most of this water evaporates. However, depending on Mercury's region and position, certain portions of fine water vapor may waft around the planet and precipitate as ice at cold craters at the poles. Mercury's Long Tail Mercury is truly an exciting and unique planet. Just as the mystical messenger of the gods sometimes trails a luminous tail due to its enormous speed, the planet's counterpart has a tail. Mercury is the only planet in the solar system where this phenomenon, which is otherwise only common with comets, occurs. Like comets, Mercury's tail is formed by fine dust particles, or more precisely, by particle streams from the upper layers of the planet, which are whirled up by the solar wind. Thanks to the measurement data from Messenger, the size and extent of the tail could be precisely recorded for the first time. At times, 
the tail extends up to 1.5 million miles into space. Thus, this phenomenon extends more than 1,500 times beyond the planetary radius of Mercury. Then, the tail shortens and expands again for some time. The tail gets its characteristic orange color from the high amounts of sodium in the swirled dust layers. Impressive Images of Mercury At the end of this video, we would like to show you the most beautiful and impressive pictures that Messenger took of Mercury. Even though Mercury is often depicted as yellowish on planetary charts, it's actually a grayish world in true color. Mercury becomes colorful when viewed with various spectrometers. The coloring results from the filtering of elements. For the amateur observer, these images look beautiful and colorful, but researchers can tell which elements are involved from the color patterns and can read differences in elevation on Mercury's surface from the coloring. Young craters appear in this image in light blue or white. The dark blue areas indicate large deposits of dark minerals. The reddish-brown regions, on the other hand, are the desert-like areas of rock and dust once formed by eruptions of molten lava. These images show two of the largest impact craters on Mercury, Mina and MNSQ were formed by impacts from asteroids more than one billion years ago. We say goodbye to the celestial messenger of the gods Mercury with this stunning photo and hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think about the discoveries on Mercury and what your opinion is about the mysterious processes inside the planet. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Simply Space.